Welcome to Cool Happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Welcome to Cool Happenings Tech Accessibility Channel and today I would like to talk about a very important and amazing feature which I feel has gone unnoticed by most voiceover users especially if you are a new also user you would find this feature very very important and utterly amazing okay the feature i'm talking about is called spotlight search now with spotlight search you can use it to search for anything well simply put you can search for anything under the sun if what you're searching for is not in your iphone you will be brought to the web where you can get results for what you search for okay on the web or anywhere else but mostly it's on the web you'll be taken to safari and there you will get the results or the answers to your search okay so you can search for anything right from well what apps below or where are certain apps on your iphone you can perform mathematical equations general knowledge, search for general knowledge, questions and many many much more which you will find very useful. Now to activate or to, yes, to activate a spotlight search what you do is there are two ways the manual navigation is by going to page one on your iPhone screen and voice will normally automatically revert to the spotlight search field located at the top right of your iPhone screen but you may get there you know wherever you are and wish part and wish part whichever you know screen on your iPhone you may get to spotlight search by touching anywhere on your iPhone screen uh, to be more precise touching any apps or any folder on your iPhone screen then doing a three finger swipe down that will invoke the spotlight search field now just be sure to ensure that voiceover is not focused on the status bar while doing a three finger swipe down because in doing so if voiceover is focused on the status bar that would in fact bring out the notification center instead of uh, the spotlight search so okay let me show you how you do it both ways one way is by going to page one. So let's go to page one. Doc, express folder, phone, page four of five. Um, page four. Page three of five. Page two of five. Alright, so let's swipe down to page one. Page one of five. Nick two, home, button. Search. So you know, um, reverts to the search field, and that is basically the spotlight search. Now, if you can go to spotlight search or Activate Spotlight Search another way, and that's by as I mentioned. Home browser folder for apps. Touching anywhere on your iPhone screen besides the status bar. Browser folder for apps. Scanners folder. Twenty one apps. Doc. Express folder. Page two of five. Recorders folder. Navigate news folder. Home messages. Forty. Home. Okay, it's good to ensure that the voice is uh, you know, uh, uh, located on an app or a folder after then what you do is once you do that as long as voice is not focus on the status bar which is why i you know, try to locate my uh, place my voice over cursor towards the bottom part of my iphone screen on the app home which is i know is at the bottom of my iphone screen then do a three finger swipe down spotlight search field instantly search insertion point at start quick demo found search result whatsapp Search field is edited. Search yes. character mode. Insertion point at start. Okay, instantly spotlight search is brought upon us. By right then you can search. Well, let's do some uh, 
So you can search for mathematical equations. So let's do a mathematical equation. Let's try 25 square. 119 items found. Top search result, 2. 25 the square would be 25 times 25. Star, yes, 5 so items found. Top search result, 25 star, 2. 5 items found. Top search result, 25 star, 2. 5. 5 items found. Top search result, 25 star, 25. Okay, 25 star, 25 would be 25 times 25, which should be 25 square. Okay, let's vote right. Quick nav on. Clear text. Button. Cancel. Button. Swap right. 25 star, 25. Button. Okay, 25 star, 25. Button. Top hit. Heading. Okay, and then if you swap right, if you don't find the top hit, then you have to tap on the swap left. 25 star, 25. Button. Tap here, otherwise you can tap right, so always check that the result is directly displayed, so swap right. Top hit, heading. Top hit, then you know the result should be auto displayed right there and there, swap right. 25 star 25 equals 625. 625, Button. okay, so that's how you do it. Let's go back to the search bar. Top hit, 25 star, cancel. Button, clear text. Let's clear Button. text, double tap. Clear text. Search field is editing. Search. Character mode. Okay. Insertion point at start. For instance, you may have an app or install on your iPhone. I mean, I don't know where it's placed, you know. For some people, they may have apps, hundreds of apps, all uh, on the home screen, on different pages. And may not be able to find a particular app. So, the best way is to go to Spotlight Search and do a search. Okay, as an example, I'll type uh, Facebook. 192 items found. Top search result. 54 items found. Top search result. Fat. 50, 35, 39, 40 items found. Top search result, Facebook. Okay, so I'll write. Quick nav on. Clear text. Cancel. 45 items found. Top search with top head. Heading. Then we'll get the result. And was also mentioned, where is that uh, app located on your iPhone? So I'll swipe right. In my case, I'll swipe right. Facebook, social. Button. Okay, you see, in my case, I've placed Facebook app on my social folder. I created a folder called social. I put all my social apps in there. In my case, I know where the app is, but you know, if you have, uh, you don't have folders, you don't have apps arranged into folders, you may find it rather troublesome or annoying and sometimes stressful trying to find the app located on your iPhone or installed on your iPhone. And if you're a new user, this feature would be very useful for you. Okay, let's try. Uh, well, let's, let's try. Um, one more search. Top head. Heading. Cancel. Button. Clear text. But clear text. Search field. Is editing. Search. Character mode. Insertion point at start. Let's say a general knowledge question. So let's say something like, um, then you want to know how tall is Mount Everest. So you can just type something like how... 111. 80. 39 items. 43 items. 23. 6 items. 6 items found. 6 items found. Top. 6. 6 items. 5 items. 5, five, five, five items found. Top. Five by eight, four items found. Top search result. How tall is Mount Everest? How tall is Mount Everest? So upright. Clear text. Button. Cancel. Button. How tall is Mount Everest? Button. Is this a button? But before you tap on button, let's see if the result is displayed. So upright. Search web. Button. Search app store. Button. Okay, there is there are no results. Now we we'll tap on. Search web. Button. How tall is Mount Everest? Button. Okay, double tap on how tall is Mount Everest. Button. How tall is Mount Everest? Three items found. Top search result. Search web. Okay. Button. You see, you've got something like that. Okay, let's see what you get. Cancel. Button. Clear text. Button. Cancel. Search web. Button. Search the web. Search app store. Button. Search the app store. Search maps. Button. I don't think any of these uh, searches will give you the result, so the best thing is to search the web. Search app store. Button. Search web. Button. Search web. So I'll double tap on search web. Search. I will open take you to Safari. Address. Lines, speaking rate, 60 percent. Lines, words, characters. Okay, let's swipe and see what we find. From what I know, Mount Everest is 29,032 feet, but let's confirm it. Maybe I could be wrong. <laughs> That's why. I'm not boasting, but you know, I do read quite a lot. What else can you do if you're totally blind like myself? Okay, swipe right. Reload button. Google link. Main menu. Shows pop up. Search. How tall is Mount Everest? Search. Landmark. Combo box. Collapsed. Clear search. Button. Google search. Button. End. Search. Search modes. Heading level 1. 
Selected. All. Tap. Images. Maps. Videos. News. Shopping. Books. Flights. Search tools. Search results. Heading level 1. Mount Everest. Heading level Mount 2. Mount Everest. Swap right. Slash. Heading level 2. Okay, swap right. Elevation. Heading level Elevation. 2. Elevation. Image result for how tall is Mount Everest. Link. Map of Mount Everest. Link. Map expand icon. 8,848 meters. Heading level 3. 8,800 in. Map expand 8,848 meters. 800, Heading level 3. 8,848 meters. Why they should give it in feet. Let's see if there's a, the result in feet. Yeah. Heading level 8,848 meters. Heading level 29,029 feet high given is officially recognized by Nepal and China. All okay. Nepal plan. 29,029 feet. I read somewhere else it was 29,032 feet, but you can see even if I was wrong, I wasn't wrong. Not too far away from the mark, okay? 29,033 feet uh, less than what I had uh, mentioned. Anyway, it's not important. A small demonstration of a very useful feature called Spotlight Search. Useful for all voiceover users and more, more so for new voiceover users. We may not know this feature exists, you may find this very useful to you, okay? So if you like these demonstrations we do, consider subscribing to this channel to receive notifications whenever new and important videos are added and hit the like button because doing so would surely motivate my team and I to make many more accessible based tech tutorials on all platforms whether it may be for Windows, Android and the iOS based platforms all with screen reader users in mind. Till I see you again. Have a wonderful and amazing day ahead. Bye bye.